Hello and welcome to Computer Tech TV. Uh, today's video I just want to do a little tutorial for you guys on how to download, install, and use CCleaner. Uh, this is the latest version that we have here. This is version 2.36.1233. This was released September 2010. Uh, this is the latest version. So let's go ahead. We are on the Pureform site, which I will put a link in the description box for you guys. Basically what you want to do here is uh, you have your options to download here. You can go from File Hippo or from Pureform, Pureform itself. So we're going to download from Pureform. And then it'll give you a little scroll bar there. And then it will give you the option to save the file. So we are going to save the file. Which I actually already saved, so we'll save it again. And it's done. So we'll go to our folder here. And then once it is done downloading, you want to find wherever you put it, double click on it, and then most time it's going to ask you if you want to open it, click run, ask you what language. You have all kinds of different languages here. And you just want to go to whatever language you have, click OK. And then you will enter into the CCleaner 2.36 setup wizard. Click next. And then it'll give you your license agreement. You want to read through that, of course. And then you can either go back to disagree or agree or cancel. We're going to agree. Then it gives you your destination folder. You can also browse if you want to change that, if you want to put it on another local disk or an external disk or whatever you want to put it. It is a 5.3 megabyte program, and uh, it seems that I have plenty of space here, so let's move on, go to next. Then it gives you a few options here, uh, add desktop shortcut, we want to do that, add start menu shortcut, we want to do that, and then you can add run CCleaner option to recycle bin, context menu, and open CCleaner to the recycle bin com context menu. I'm going to uncheck those two and then it asks you to automatically check for updates I'm gonna leave that checked and then they also at the bottom you must watch for this a lot of people miss this on software add CCleaner Yahoo toolbar and you CCleaner for your browser now if you do not want to do that then you uncheck this I do not want to do it so I'm unchecking it then you want to go to install and it will install rather quickly on most machines and then you have your check here to run CCleaner go to finish and then it will open up CCleaner for you now you can go through this program when you download it and check out all this stuff but basically it gives you a list of all the windows different window stuff you get Internet Explorer Windows Explorer system uh, and advanced you can see which ones I have checked and then go to applications you have your Firefox or other browser that you have on there, applications, internet, multimedia, utilities, and windows. And then you can analyze that and it'll scan through. And of course you gotta close that. Basically it'll give you a list of temporary inner files, cookies, uh, log files, all kinds of stuff. Uh, then let's move on, we'll go to the registry. And this uh, checks your registry integrity and go through and delete uh, different stuff that's non-existent on your computer, just files that are left over, installers, obsolete software, missing DLL, stuff like that. Uh, tools, you have an uninstall program. You can do all your program un un uninstallations through CCleaner here, which is really nice, and which I found some of these... Uh, programs actually will show up on here that won't show up on the regular windows so that's kinda cool then you have a startup um, thing here which is pretty much like uh, like registry edit or whatever that's called where you can change your startup stuff then you have system restore which I would suggest doing this through your you know windows by itself which I don't know if you can actually Oh, it doesn't look like you can actually change it. You can just remove different checkpoints and stuff like that, different times if you want to get rid of them to free up some space. And then the last one you have is options. Gives you settings and cookies, which ones you want to delete, which ones you want to keep. 
And you have your include, which is custom files to delete and folders to empty when you run this program, which is sweet. And then you have exclude, which is files and folders to exclude when you run it so that it won't mess with those when it scans and it won't show them every time you run it. And then advanced um, is just advanced settings on how to control CCleaner functions for advanced users only. So yeah, and then you can restore your default settings here. So yes guys, that about concludes it for CCleaner version 2.36.1233. I'll put a link in the description box as I stated at the beginning of the video. Uh, if you guys are interested in downloading this project, this product, which is not really a product, it's a freeware for anybody asking. You can donate though, they always appreciate that. Uh, and that about concludes it for this tutorial, so I hope you guys learned something, and this is a really, really great free program that will help your computer run faster. In all versions of Windows, it will work in all of them. I'm not sure if it works on any other operating systems, probably just Windows. But like I said, I'll put a link and you guys can check out the website. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and you have a great day. Talk to you later.